What is going on guys? Today we have more packs. Like I said, there's probably there's nine in total, I think. Um, all very different. Obviously, we are getting into footies with this one. And footies is where it really starts. I think that's when packs just become incredible. Obviously, the week before we got all of the major team of the seasons, we got a lot of the minor leagues, kind of the lower rated team of the seasons in this pack. We go ahead and get our first 86 team of the season, as well as an inform um, in, I don't even know what pack that is. I think this is a rewards pack, to be honest. Um, again, we get another walkout. Um, I think these were rewards packs, in fact, and they were the best. They were incredible. We go ahead and get or black in this one as well, 95 rated. You'll never complain at that. So I believe this was in the La Liga team of the season, I want to say. I think it's still before that. And then obviously, as footage kind of begins, um, obviously we get a lot more of the team of the seasons coming into packs. Again, as you can see, yeah, they are rewards. And in general, FIFA was just incredible. I, I keep saying in every episode, I enjoyed this FIFA 19. Yes, the gameplay weren't incredible, but... I, en I enjoy this kind of bit of the FIFA where you're getting team of the seasons, you're getting so many players that really can, you can put an, a team together and it, it can still contest with some very, very meta teams. You look at, for instance, this right there, this left back, 90 pace, 91 passing, 91 dribbling, 87 defending. Yes, he isn't the greatest left back in the world or the greatest left back in the game, but you can still put him there and he can still do some work. He's not an 80 or a 75 rated uh, left back. He's still one. Of, he's up there. He's up there with a really high rated player. Um, like for instance, you look at the, um, what the Alexandro's normal card, higher rated than that. Yes. Maybe not the same kind of caliber, but still puts in the shift. And this is the big one. This is probably one of my favorite strikers alongside the other Ronaldo. It is prime 96 rated R9. What a card. And like I said, this FIFA was my best team going. Um, I think I did get quite a few of the team of the seasons in the FIFA, uh, the FIFA prior, mainly because of the guaranteed team, team of the seasons and a couple of icons, a couple of mid icons more than anything. Um, and babies, to be honest, from the icon packs or the icon SBCs. Um, but... This season, or this, yeah, this season of FIFA was absolutely phenomenal for me. And I believe as well, this one was the first, this is the start of the first batch of footies as Bernardo Silva was the very first special that I did get from them. I believe he was the free pack that you got. I can't remember what free pack it was, but a very, very nice 88 rated in that one. And then we go to the very first footies. I think it was one of the uh, fan favorite picks, I want to say. Um, and Lozano is the first one. What a player he was. 92, 92 rated, 99 pace, 94 dribbling, 92 shooting, and 90 passing. Phenomenal card. Very, very nice winger. And it did not stop there with these. I think there was a lot of wingers to start with. Um, I think there weren't many left backs, I want to say. I'm pretty sure there was Walker at a right back. Um, there was center back wise, there was Kimbembe. And I can't remember the other center. There was a couple more center backs that I got as well. I've still got them on my on my um, on my Xbox. Fred was the next one. Um, a 91 rated card. Wasn't too pleased with him. I didn't think he was incredible, but he did go into the Man U team that I was kind of on the verge of building with my team of the year, De Gea. Pogba obviously joined them. Rashford joined them. Um, and I think a couple of others actually did get them as well. I can't think of any other footies that got them. Um, a purple guard, but there obviously was a few team of the seasons, a few other hit, uh, informs there. Again, we get a. Oh, this was from actually. I know what this one was from. This one was from the premium upgrade. Oh no! In fact, no, it wasn't. Of course, it was. It was in the best packs of uh, the best batch of one. Uh, Rakitic was obviously one of the ones that I got from an upgrade pack, I believe. Um, realistically, wasn't worth much. But another 88 regardless. And it just flew from there. Obviously, the batch one was the lower end. Batch two was then with the minor leagues and kind of high rated team of the seasons in them. And then we go ahead and get the batch three out of the way, which I believe will probably be batch probably six to nine. Um, so we're on batch 
three today or four today. I can't remember which one we're on. I want to say three. This Aspas and the, well, actually, no, this is the first one, came from a 81 upgrade for Team of the Weeks. So it was the first set of the Team of the Week upgrade and actually got an inform from it. And I think the others, I got lower than, I got lower than an 84. So I think it was like an 83 plus or an 81 plus. And obviously the, uh, the untradeable one got me a lot of good luck. Then we go ahead and get this bail. Honestly, I didn't rate this bail. I really didn't rate him that much. He was good. Don't get me wrong. His pace was fantastic. Really good as a super sub. But as starting, I just, I thought there was so much better options. And he really didn't stay in my team for very long. I think once, obviously, footies and team of the seasons came out again, I think that was then when... Actually, it started getting better, and Bale just didn't make the cut for my liking. Uh, we go ahead and get Alonso again as well. We got him right at the start at his 84 or 86 rated card, and then he went all the way up to a 91 rated Alonso. Fantastic card, really, really nice, and probably one of the best left backs in the game as well, in my opinion. Very tall, fast, strong, got the defending. Really, really nice left back. And obviously with that left back, I did go ahead and put himself into his, his SBC just to get the packs because I think there was a 100k pack for him. The next footage we get is obviously uh, Kovacic. Kovacic? Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Another 92 rated centre mid from the BPL. Um, good card. Relatively didn't stay in the team. Again, not very long, but a nice card nonetheless. Very good to end into the footies team. Um, and again, I don't think I did anything with the footies team. Then we go ahead and get the surprise retirement from the big man himself, the wonder, the robot king, Peter Crouch. And a very, very nice upgrade for him. Very tall, decent pace, to be honest. You whack a hunter on him and he becomes... Quite a good striker, to be honest, even though, yes, his attributes don't speak a million words. 95 physical, 92 shooting, 87 passing, and 88 dribbling. He was an alright card, to be honest. I saw him quite a few times in foot champs, and he did manage to score past me quite a few times. I think the height definitely made up for him, um, and obviously being a little bit stronger than some of the lower rated players. Um, we go ahead then with the Saudi team of the seasons with an 86 held on. Um, and I think we're coming towards the last like six or seven. I don't think, in fact, actually, no, I think there is a, a couple of good players coming. Um, obviously, we'll go for a little bit of a lackluster phase where we have batch two because obviously we got the team of the seasons from the minor leagues. So nothing major going on there, but... They're still team of the seasons regardless. They helped me go through a few more icons and a few more uh, decent SBCs as well. Um, obviously, we got this Alba in rewards. I think it was for someone else as well. I'm pretty sure it was for Matt. Um, a 90 rated Alba. And I don't think it shows you within the pack on this one. It may just clip the end. I don't think because I think what the main thing is is that I didn't click it quick enough. You may just see it before it goes. No, we don't. I think they did get an 86 Pulisic as well in there. The Carnival version, I want to say. Um, so that was actually quite a nice pack to end the packs of his. Um, then we go ahead and get the, the Portuguese left back again. Um, unfortunately, we don't see another Ronaldo in this. Or at least a Cancelo. He was a very nice right, right back. You did have quite a nice choices. And I think it said it in the last video with Da Costa, with um, Walker eventually, um, Cancelo. Uh, La La was another really nice one. So they're my kind of first, and then uh, Dumfries as well, in fact. So they're my five best right backs of the game. A lot of people chose uh, Da Costa over anyone, but it all, it all depends on what you think. Then we go ahead in our rewards as well. The same set of rewards as the man of the match, the team of the season. We go ahead and get 90 rated Pepe as well. Headliner, obviously not as good as his 96, but a very, very nice card regardless. And was there anything else in the pack? We do also got Catrone as well, the 89 rated striker uh, from AC Milan. Another very good pack. You get a 19 and 89 rated in the team uh, in the in the pack. That for me is a good win. We've got our last four packs left. We go ahead and get the Serbian left mid, who was also still in the same rewards. I think four in a row. I managed to get some very nice rated cards, and Tadic was one of them in the 95 rated version. Again, another okay card very high rated don't get me wrong but again there is better options but if you're on a budget that is a very nice card to get so we are coming towards the end hopefully you are enjoying these packs still 
Gameplay and all that from FIFA 20 will be out shortly. Obviously, FIFA 19 will be out on the 19th. I'm on holiday until the 19th and we'll be back on the 20th. So on the 20th, we'll be starting my 10 hours of gameplay and hopefully absolutely smashing it before the next week when FIFA's pre-order EA Access comes out and we absolutely go ham on it. I want to try and get as many player reviews done as quick as possible just so you've got the the kind of basis of who you should be going for i will be picking op players i will be picking as many high rated players as i can get um get my hands on anyway just to give you that kind of inkling of who the best persons to get is who who you're looking for i think my first op squad i will do a squad builder on as well so we will be having plenty of content i really want to smash fifa 20 and i think every other fifa uh, creators going every youtuber is going is going to do the same so there's going to be so much content flying around and hopefully i can make it as good as possible for you so if you have enjoyed this video make sure you like down below and if you're new around here make sure you subscribe we're still going now um there may be some vlogs from on holiday as well so we'll see how that goes that should be very interesting as well uh but we're going to keep it going going to keep it rolling all the way to fifa 20 and then we'll see a huge influx in obviously videos being created over the FIFA 20 period and hopefully we will start streaming as well so that should be something that I'm very looking forward to um, I don't think I've streamed very much so you may have to bear with me with actually how it goes but if you want to come and join in I will link uh, Twitch and everything close to the time down below and apart from that hopefully have enjoyed and I'll see you all for the next one peace